Alright, good morning. I don't ever want to say good morning in Vietnam. Um, Stop. Coffee here, 35, 50 to 80, 80k in other places. Or you can go to your local street corner and get a coffee for a yeah. 20k. Which you got the bun me, 20k. I was up, seen five something, got up, just wait for a brief walk. Not to exercise, but to wake up, stuff the day up a little bit better. And then I've got 10 o'clock for the month of content, stuff that I've been doing with real estate agents. Hopefully get some more people joining in this time. I just wanted to quickly show you, um, you see this, like the camera's killing the light, but basically the setup of my place, basically. I've just got a table, I've got a window, etc. over this way. You know, I'm basically gonna come and put my camera down on this table here, and just so you can see the view. That's the view out. And yeah, I usually have my, my tripod, but I don't have it with me, I lent it to someone to do some videos. So I can just use this wider setup and do the shot. But yeah, I'm using a lighting here, Amberone 100D, and I've got some of these guys, you know, LED light, Juio. I like to use my proper setup because I am a professional. I have fun setting it up as well and getting a better shot. So let's let's do that now. Probably the shot. I'm actually gonna take that slightly more. Something like that. I've got my laptop in front of me. All I've done here is put the camera on a box just to give it a bit of raise. It's the same lens, 11mm f1.8, and the shot's okay. Like this is good for you know video conference. What I like to do is set up the lighting and for that to really just look a bit better. So let me just do that. First step what I do, let's put an accent light. This is gonna be blue reflector for my 100 d And I just put that on top and that gives it a bit more of a shape. Not that it really matters on this shot. I, I like doing this shot. Sigma 30, F14. So it looks a bit more flattering than a wide lens, but everyone uses wide lenses. Everyone thinks the wide lenses are the go-to for everything. It is very good for vlogging, obviously, because you're just going to quickly grab shots and you can see yourself, you can see everything in the shot, etc. So, firstly, background light. Secondly, I'm going to change the lighting with my key, shut the window, and then do it. I'm just curious of the, the lighting effect. And that's the key light, right? This is fine, this is alright. And then the third additional light is what I like to use, is like this. And basically, what it's going to do is shine to the side. I like making this a bit more orange rather than sit the same kind of temperature as the main key light just to add a bit more. Got a clip on the chair, I'll show you. Before wasn't actually so bad. This just gives me a lot more depth, etc. And I like it, I like it. Bring it over a bit more. Microphone. But yeah, let me explain how I connected this camera up. So I've got, of course, the mic, which plugs into this adapter, which plugs into my MacBook Air, which I'm currently using at the moment. Still does a pretty good job. I utilize an HDMI cable, small rig one, and I've got this small rig adapted, is it micro, micro HDMI to full HDMI, which can go into your cage. I was running a monitor setup in quite a few scenarios as well. So that's where this little adapter came in handy. And I've got this guy here, which is the Atomos HDMI to USB. And this basically lets you turn any camera you want that has an HDMI output into a webcam of some source. Yeah, let me plug all this in. One drawback of this place that I've got, the AC here is actually really noisy and it kind of does my head in. But, you know, you need to stay cool. I'm already actually breaking a sweat. I'm only getting my sweat on. Yeah. So I need that cool stuff to happen. This is the kind of look. The fridge in the shot, I don't really like it, but it is what it is, it is there. I could probably try and push this all the way in, but then we're losing depth in the background. It is what it is, it's good enough. I like this setup, I like the lighting, I like the look. Compared to the shot before, if I'm doing this side by side now, is the setup even worth it? Let me show you um, this set. All right, so, as you can see, our microphone, our laptop here, a camera on this box. This mic up here is the one I'm recording with now. My key light, Amaron 100D. Got an LED rim in on the side of us here. This LED with the diffuser happening right there. I just want to say too is that why is it, you know, in Australia, iced coffees aren't the default. Why is that? Like frappe, grease, Europe, etc. It's pretty common. And Vietnam, you need the ice, bro. Like I'm not going to make a, like a hot coffee now too hot for that shit man so <laughs> another point here is this is on 11 mil with active state noted that it crops in a bit but what i like to do is use clear image zoom as well as you saw the shot before was more you know close to me just to show you like go back to where i was before and zoom this guy in and i can do this like nice and you know 
rack rack the zoom but that's basically the shuttle was before sometimes wine 11 mil is a bit too wide probably now sitting like the 16 mil if you had a sigma 16 mil but then that 16 mil you could then punch in to do this kind of 23 mil shot 23 mil shot you can punch in do 30 mil 30 mil you can probably punch in do about a 50 mil so this is a good thing about sony's as well it comes in handy in a pinch just you know punch in a bit more get the shot you want with a prime lens so so yeah lastly i just wanted to show that you can you know pull out you know straight into obs straight into whatever software you want and yeah that's basically the setup that's done now you've got hdmi plugged in going across to the um, usb adapter down into the computer another little tip i don't know if you can see on the screen here is the fact that next to the battery icon you've got the plug charges the camera while you're utilizing it pretty effectively so just got this on off ebay or some shit um, amazon someplace has a you know if i turn it on has an led it's on 50 percent now and this lets me charge correct kind of voltage or some shit correct amps and volts it can let me power lights it can let me power cameras very effectively etc and i have a mounting system for this i can like put it onto my my body and rig it to the to the camera, to the cage, etc. Go a whole day, like at a wedding, shooting with you know V mount batteries, or just getting you know a big USB Type C battery and utilizing it. I actually have a dummy battery that can tap into this through the the D tap, as you can see. But I, I actually don't use the dummy battery. I prefer to use a Sony battery inside, connected via USB C, and it seems to work much more effectively. Overheating issues with a dummy battery, and I've heard of scenarios the dummy battery basically explodes these Sony cameras, so let's not do that. <laughs> let's not do that. Continuing on with this before I jump into this call. I've had a call go, no one's joined. I had one person join last time. So let's see how it goes this time. All right, so no one decided to come. Unfortunately, real estate agents are always busy people or they don't have a hold on their schedule. I'm not too sure. If you're an agent, let me know what you think. I really launched this product to understand what's gonna be best suited for real estate agents in producing content. From my discovery is that offering a service like this to it with you kind of operation isn't actually ideal. Agents out there wanting to do something like this, ones who have been doing content, they've been doing a good job. Like this is about making regular content. Just like I've made a commitment to make a daily vlog, it's a commitment. And you just got to do it. Day two was pretty brief. There wasn't really anything happening, nothing too entertaining, etc. But the point is, you got to go and do it. I'm just seeing now in the in the group chat, like someone's like trying to join, um, ten minutes late. I, I don't start jobs ten minutes late. Like, I'm really rigorous. Like I want to look after my timetable, my schedule, my weekly calendar. It's important to follow. Even though like I'm in a position, full flexibility over what I'm doing. Me as a person, I like to help the people around me as much as as possible. Yeah, I like supporting Ben if she goes to work, etc. I like to be the one to pick her up and take her home. If I can't do it, I can't do it. If something is more important, obviously, then I'll be tackling the more important task. If I set an appointment for 2 p.m., it's at 2 p.m. And if the price point was higher, people would be more committed to producing this kind of content instead of it just being kind of put that off to the side. All right, just to share as well, part of doing real estate media in Australia, Melbourne for the last you know, eight years, etc. Still had my production, my team, my systems, all at my disposal, call it that, because that's, that's what I built. What I've done in this transition period of moving to Vietnam, my offer services of video editing, offer services of you know, job management, etc. for the local guys in Melbourne that kind of took over the workload and I still communicate with clients regularly when they need things you know, in regards to um, property media, etc. Sometimes they even reach out still for a booking and stuff and I'm like, look, okay, that's fine. I'll just get this in for you quickly. We got a new project. It's, it's actually a, a guy in Colorado. Like I, I'm looking forward to see how things come out. The you know, place in Colorado, it's actually snowing, snowing there now. Nice looking place, nice looking house. Gonna be excited to see how this turns out with the team and down the line of our video editing services. Stay tuned for that, right? So that's something else that's happening in my, my daily activities so looking forward to seeing how this goes just to break a bit further i've got these creators that i've worked alongside with across the, you know the past years i've mentioned about dylan in the first vlog but there's a few other guys that 
you know, I've worked with along the way, who have reached out for advice, developing and working together, and I'm happy to share my knowledge through the experiences I've had. And I know in many ways, these guys too have, you know, developed in, in ways that I haven't and grow together and make better positions. So on the cards, I've got a call that I wanted to put together. Six, seven-ish people so far, a few others kind of in the midst of things as well, all about, you know, real estate videos, just give advice and talk about it. And I just had another message actually from Dylan, um, which relates to conversations I've had with Christian, who's another real estate videographer. Funny enough, you know, we met a whole year ago, started working together since I moved here. We kind of discussed, you know, doing work here overseas obviously um in vietnam there is a property sector obviously here in vietnam luxury apartments etc of course resorts holiday locations which can all benefit from this outstanding media that these guys can do yeah i'm happy to build relations and make opportunities for them if that's what they want to do i have a bit of business sense i think that's where my skill kind of shines in the relationships with with these guys is that being the business operator and embracing the fact that i am a creator there's limitations in doing everything yourself and Honestly, I don't want to do everything myself. I want to build a team. Show you my vision board in a second. Maybe I'll overlay it here. It's teamwork makes the dream work, right? Not only to just win together, but to grow together and like have a community around each other and support each other. That's really what it's all about. Which I think falls into every industry, especially for services. We're all here to win the one customer. If you are doing the same thing as me, then we're competitors and we can't be friends. So much money flowing around, opportunities there. So why not just come together and work? Like you think Apple, Amazon, one guy at the realm, just like doing everything? Is that your mindset? Thousands of people come together to make shit happen. I think that's the best way to go. Something to share as well. These guys are talented. I know what to do as well. Like, I, yes, I have a talent in making real estate videos and being really good at, you know, customer satisfaction, looking after the customers really well, looking after people in general, like as a service. That's really what I'm about, I think. And I think that's why I make a pretty good boyfriend as well, right? No. <laughs> building a relationship with someone, finding out like what could help them and then giving them that help. Hopefully we both win from that. And if we don't both win from that, we both lose from that a relationship not worth supporting in. So that's what it's about. End this shot and this position while I've been working here and um, yeah, continue on to the rest of the day. I can't hear shit. Let's pick this off though. Professional vlogger style. Yeah. Welcome to Active Stave on the Sony. It's walking down the street of Vietnam. It's coming on pretty hot. Should put a shutter to the Honda. It's probably better. Just walk to this cafe. Because I think it is just up here. First time I'm actually doing a street vlog. But I guess I'm going to turn it into a vlogger. And I'm going to do shit like this all the time. Let's go get a coffee. I actually walked the wrong way. I'm just curious about the steadiness of this shot. You know, I'm walking actually pretty fast. I'm really curious of this. All right, keep moving through. Normal form of transport in Vietnam. Actually, this morning on my walk, I found this, which is this one. Omita Cafe. Thank you. Right. It's a nice, cozy place, but it's more based. We can get some winds. Brian chilled him a little bit. Com Cafe, where I usually hang out, is a little bit better, a bit cooler, a bit more roomy. Here has some nice rabbits and stuff, get some shots of that. Um, it's, it's more a place you can bring your kids, hang out, chill. Indoors is kind of nice, but otherwise it's. Uh... My watch is telling me time to get moving. Um, even though I've done a few steps, I had a walk this morning and I walked here. Yeah, keep hustling, bro, keep hustling. I think that's what's going through my mind. Things the devil uh, pulls you off board, tempts you to do the things you don't want to do. If that makes sense. It's like short term pleasures, temptations, and if you stick with them, enjoy it for the, for the moment, and that's really appealing, but for the long term.